Najee, yeah, up there they're talking about their offense a little bit too. They struggle to put points on the board, but are they still the Most Patriots in, on defense? In New England, they're talking. Oh. Are they still the Patriots on defense? You know, yeah, their reputation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah they, they have they have really good defense. I mean, the Patriots always have a good defense. You know, that's one of their pedigrees is having a good defense. And well, just recently they start running the ball really good. Um, so you know we gotta you know capitalize on that. Um, they got a lot of playmakers and they create a lot of turnovers too. So we gotta do a good job of controlling the ball and. Um, and making sure that you know we don't get the the ball in, in their hands, obviously, and just um, taking care of the ball and executing our plays. Mac Jones is your college quarterback, and that you helped it defense. I think so. He back spasms, but I mean, yeah. how much can your experience with him help the defense? Are there any insights that you can give them into your time when you played with him at Bama? Man, other than he's a tough player, not really. Man, it's a whole different system. Um, I think that Belichick and all of them got a good job of you know really controlling uh, you know just and what, what it is to be an NFL quarterback, and he you know embraces all that. He's a he's a really good leader. Um, like I said, me being in college with him, um, and me being in four years, we came together in 2017. Um, you know, he's a competitor, and, he, and he's a he's a real tough guy. You know, he can take some hits and get back up. So I'll be surprised if he's not playing this game. Cause just knowing him, I know that he's a competitor. So uh, you know, I can tell them he's a tough guy. You guys got to go say hi to him before the game, or you kind of before? Just, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Before, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna say hi. I don't know I'm, if you just walk in and you know, see him after or whatever. Yeah. But. You might be right, actually. <laughs> <laughs> you might be right. Mike said of Jalen Warren that the best thing about him was that he didn't pee down his leg when he yes. got in the game. He said urinate. I mean, what, <laughs> what, did, you, what did you see from Jalen? I mean, did, did he kind of hit the expectations that you thought he could as a rookie UDFA in his first NFL action? I mean, I don't think there was uh, really no no expectations really other than he was go out there and execute. Um, you know, he's a good player. Um, he's still learning. Um, he came in there. He made a lot of good blocks too. Uh, so, you know, just as much we can, as much guys we can get on the team and help provide any way possible. It's always, it's always welcoming. So he did a good job of that. Um, you know, like I said, we all just got to get better. If Not for you. some reason your role isn't as big as it was last week, is he ready to step up and do an expanded role this week if your injury holds you back at all? Well, he's gonna have to be. He has no choice. So. <laughs> but it ain't gonna be like that, you know what I mean? Um, I'm, I'm okay. Um, he's gonna be good. Uh, he's actually helped me out a lot too, to uh, get me off the field a lot too on some downs. Um, so I won't get extra hits. Um, I think last year I played the most snaps I think in the NFL. Um, I guess going into the second year, we can't do that, especially for a running back. It's too much. It's too violent, you know what I mean? From the last long, you gotta have, you know, every now and then have somebody spell you. So uh, I think that's good. Without getting into specific injury, what happened on that play? And were you more worried at the time of, of the initial injury than the initial injury? Were you more worried, essentially, than, so what, than the outcome? It. You don't want to get into it, but you asked me about it. I don't want you to get into the specific injury. I just want to know what, so what happened on the play. Blame? Yeah, just give me it. I'm good. OK. <laughs> All right, last question from the closing locker. Because my foot? Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, I'm good, man. It's, just, it's part of the sport, man. You know what I mean? It's, it's a little injury. Um, my back hurt plenty of times. You know what I mean? Uh, I had like six, seven months or weeks to, to let it calm down, the original injury. And, um, you know, it's, it's good now. It's nothing wrong with it. Man. All right. Thanks, guys. Got a little AFC East expertise you can bring to this game? <clears throat> yeah. I mean, I've played the Patriots what, eight times now. Um, and so uh, I know they have a new coordinator, I think. Um, but just getting back to the film, I mean, I've already s kind of spread my notes about the Patriots and, you know, the books that I've kept on them. And they're a good team, you know what I mean, just because they lost their, their first game. Uh, I know they come back and bounce back hard. And so an efficient running game um, as usual. So we have to be ready for that. How have they changed or evolved? Or like, what word would you use to describe where their offense is now with Mac? I mean, you have a small sample with one game now. Um, and so I really can't just tell you what's different. You know, they could always go back to what they did last year and, and what I've seen in the previous years. Um, but most of the same receivers. I know they had a park over there who's a good player who I played against uh, at Miami and two. So we just got to see how they attack us um, and, and go for there. Levi, do you expect to see Mac out there? And what did you think of him? What stood out to you about him last year? Uh, do I expect to see him out there? Yeah. I mean, I, I think his back spasms I think he had. 
Yeah, I, I know he's a tough player for sure. So if he's able to play, I know he's definitely going to play. Um, he's a competitor. I mean, he stays in the pocket a lot. Uh, wait till the last minute to get rid of the ball. He can take all the hits. Um, he, he's, he's a dog, in my opinion. Uh, and so I know he'll be out there Sunday for sure. Levi, I know it was a unique game, but with the Patriots' run game and the fact that they use so many backs, what makes it most difficult to, to try and slow them if they want to do? Man, what they do really well is what they do. I mean, they're, they're a good truck toss team. Um, I've experienced that firsthand with the guards pulling. Um, they do an excellent job. The, the linemen really run, get out there and run. Um, they have really good backs, too, take care of the ball. Um, and then they can set you up on play action as well. And so uh, good, re good receivers as well with Kendrick Bourne. I know they added him last year, one of the better receivers that I've guarded last year. And so um, even Jacoby Myers, um, just how talented he is, uh, is definitely a tough challenge. What was it that made you guys able to create those turnovers in such an effective way, especially as a secondary in the interceptions? What, what was it that made you guys be able to force those turnovers? That's critical. Man, that's something that goes to our DB coach, Grady, um, just emphasizing when we first got here back in OTAs that we just can't miss the easy ones for sure. Um, and then we have to take the ball away, not just turnovers, but we take it away. And I think defense did a great job with that. It started up front, obviously, with uh, Cam setting the, the tone off the first play with the sack. Um, and then going from there, I mean, it was just our mindset the whole day. And so I think we did a great job. We have to keep building on that, stacking on that. Do you think the injury, I'm sorry, do you think the injury would be a little more serious when it happened? And, uh, you know, what, how were you able to bounce back so fast to get ready for this? Uh, luckily, I'm still a little young, not as young <laughs> as I used to be. Um, so my body recovers faster. Um, I, obviously, I was in a little bit of pain that I wasn't able to return, but, you know, God willing that. I'm able to go this week, um, a couple of days of rest, even today with the t-shirt the and hat practice definitely helped me another day of rest. And so I look forward to the challenge this week. Without Watt causing the havoc that he always does for however long he's out, as a secondary, you guys kind of acknowledging the fact you might have to cover an extra beat or two. Uh, I mean, I, it's our job to cover regardless uh, whether he's in or out. And so um, looking, losing a guy like that for however long, Definitely, you know, it's noticeable. But I know the guys that are after him are ready to go. I uh, spent time with Malik before he got here. I just know the kind of player that he is. Uh, Alex had a great game last week as well. Um, and I know they brought some other guys in too. And so uh, it's, it's just what we have to do as corners, as safeties. We have to cover. What was it like that first game with Minka and the way he played? <clears throat> Man, I knew Minka was going to block that field goal kick. Uh, I've seen him block it plenty of times back at Bama. Um, and he blocked one in the game, our first game at Florida State. And so I really wasn't surprised. I knew he would. Um, he's, a, he's a baller, man. He, he does what he does. One of the best playmakers, one of the best football players in this league. And so I was happy to see him just do him. Uh, 14 tackles, uh, interception, pick six. I mean, that's, that's just who he is. So it doesn't surprise me at this point. He was pretty, uh, he was chirping out there a lot, too. Was that, a, was that a personal thing with him and Mixon, or is he just like the talk in general? I mean, he's a competitor, man. I think. Uh, He's always been like that since I've known him. I mean, he's one of the most competitors, uh, like absolute competitors that I know. And so when he gets going, I know he was ready to play. He told me, what, Monday last week that he was ready to play the game and um, just the rivalry between the Bengals and, and, the, and the Steelers. And so, I mean, he showed out and I was, I was happy for him.